So yeah, so first of all, uh, can somebody give me some feedback? Um, so can you, can you hear me now? Um, and can you let me know Okay, so can you let me know, um, was, the, was the recording still going uh, or kind of what was the last thing before I restarted here um, that, uh, that we were talking about? Had I gotten, had I gotten down to the logistic regression yet? that people were seeing. Or was it before that? I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that you guys saw the list, the uh, the stuff that I was talking about for logistic regression. Uh, but if not, let me know. Um, I can go back a bit. So um, the last thing I noticed before an issue uh, that before I noticed that it looked like um, Zoom was having an issue was um, I was discussing how to create this decision boundary. Um, so so I, I talked about that. Um, and then I was talking about the confusion matrix. Um, and then the very last thing I was talking about uh, when I noticed that things seemed to be a bit frozen uh, was the precision and re recall scores. Um, so I was, I was mentioning about the, uh, the, the scores here when you do the decision function. So when you do the uh, predict, you get just an actual prediction, zero or one for a, excuse me, for a binary classifier. Um, so when you, do a when you do the decision function, what you do is you actually get what, what you think of for now as like a confidence score. So, so you get a number between zero and one, right? So if you're very confident, like, like for something up here, uh, you're probably gonna get a score closer to one or pretty close to one. So something up here at the very upper right-hand corner would have a score of one right, uh, in your prediction. Because, you know, the, these are predictions for the, the, the one class, the admitted class. And, and likewise, the score over here, you know, down here would be zero. So we'd be very confident that it's a zero. But things that are right on the decision boundary would have a prediction score of 0 0.5, right? So that's what you get when you do the decision function here. Um, and, and precision recall scores, they are plotting um, how well you're doing on things like um, false positives and false negatives as a function of changing uh, your decision boundary, right? So, so if, if I used a threshold, basically by changing the threshold, it would be like I was shifting the decision boundary uh, in this direction or I, I could change the threshold and, and shift it in that direction. So keeping the slope the same, but, but just shifting it up or down, right? So if you do that, uh, that, help, that will have an effect on your true positives and true negative rates, uh, which are what are being, the ratios of those are what are being measured by precision and recall here. So, so anyway, that, that's why you, you get the decision function for the Y scores and use that when you call like, a function like the precision recall curve from scikit-learn. So, um, or you can plot recall versus precision directly, just um, uh, actually the, the, the same two things that you get back. So you can either plot these individually as a function of the, the how the threshold changes, um, or you can plot them um, against each other. Um, when you plot precision and recall against each other, uh, you know you want curves that that 
basically come up to the upper right hand side here. So the, the a perfectly functioning model will have a 1.0 both on precision and recall. So it would look like, you know, uh, it would come as close up to the upper right hand corner um, as possible. Um, all right, and then I kind of want to wrap up talking about the assignment two here. So, um, so you can do the same kind of thing uh, with stats model, fit a logistic regression to it. Um, so it'll look pretty similar to, to get started off with. Um, although again, like, like for linear regression, you do have to add in that constant term by hand. Um, So anyway, if, if you look at the summary here, if, if it worked out for you, um, you should get values uh, that will differ a little bit. Um, so, so you get the 25.1613, you know, so you can compare that uh, back looking up there. And, and we'll talk more about that. So, so the, the difference is, uh, if you did see slight differences between the stats model logistic regression and the um, um, you know, scikit-learn logistic regression, is the, the default it's using for this uh, regularization here. So, um, and, uh, yeah, I thought that um, um, you would get exactly the same if you did a penalty none here, but I'm not certain if maybe something has changed here. Um, maybe it's not doing that anymore. So. There we go. So um, I don't know if I was doing something wrong, but but yeah. So if you if you if you're curious, um, and like I said, we'll 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 talk more about what this regularization penalty is later. But but there, finally, we're or I got what I was expecting. So if you do have that penalty none in there, um, you should get values slightly differently. So so if if you were just using the defaults, you should be getting these values. Uh, but if you say don't use any. Um, uh, don't, don't use any penalty for the um, regularization. Um, you'll get you should get exactly the same um, intercept and coefficients that you get with the stats model logistic regression here. So twenty five point one six and point two zero six two point two zero one five. So that's kind of the difference there. All right, so I'm not certain. I haven't got any feedback about um, um, whether Zoom, um, how much of that might have been missed here um, when we were um, on the Zoom call here. I'm a bit worried that I didn't get my my session saved correctly, so I'm going to check that. Anybody have any questions about stuff here? Um, so I want to take a few minute break here, and I might I might stop the Zoom session and restart it again. Uh, just to check my recordings here too. So, so let's take five minutes. Um, so it's about 5.40. So about 5.45, I'll start back up and talk a little bit about um, this week's materials, uh, uh, in particular, the linear regression notebooks and things. So, all right.